Beard Holloway from Langmaster Learning System. Welcome to Pronunciation Guide. This video is made to help you out with the consonant SH, which you may already have figured out from the clip earlier, and its brother, the SH sound. We will start with the sh first. Now, I want you to watch my mouth carefully and listen with all your attention to how I pronounce this sound. Then, try your best to mimic the sound. To make this sound, I want you to remember these four steps. Step one, place your upper and lower front teeth together. Step two, round your lips into a tight circle. Step three, raise the two sides of your tongue so that they touch the sides of the upper teeth. Step four, push the airflow out of your mouth. Shh, shh, shh. Remember the consonant s we studied in the previous video? When we say s, our lips are spread. However, when we say shh, our lips are rounded, but not too tight, like this. It is tight, but with a little tension. Shh. To check if you are saying it correctly or not, put your hand in front of your face and say Feel that stream of air blowing in your palm because sh is an unvoiced consonant. There's a strong stream of air blowing in your palm. Sh, sh, sh. To sum up, there are four steps to make a perfect sh sound. Step one, place the upper and lower front teeth together. Step two, round your lips into a tight circle. Step three, raise the two sides of your tongue so that they touch the sides of the upper teeth. Step four, push the airflow out of your mouth. Shh. 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 Now we will practice this sound in some words. Listen carefully and repeat after me.
this. Now we move to the next sound, zh, sh, and zh are a consonant pair because they have the same mouth position. So step one, place your upper and lower front teeth together. Step two, round your lips into a tight circle. Step three, raise the two sides of your tongue so that they touch the sides of the upper teeth. Step four, make the sound. Keep in mind that the sound is different from sound we learned last time. When we say z, our lips are spread. But when we say z, our lips are rounded with a little tension. Because z is a voiced consonant, there is no stream of air going in your palm. Z, To sum up, there are four steps to make a perfect zh sound. Step one, place your upper and lower front teeth together. Step two, round your lips into a tight circle. Step three, raise the two sides of your tongue so that they touch the sides of the upper teeth. Step four, make the sound. Now I hope that you can see the difference between these two sounds. And Now we will practice these sounds in some words. Listen carefully and repeat after me. Measure. Measure. Massage. 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 Television. 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 Excellent. Let's practice these sentences below. Live with passion. Live with passion. Live with passion. Stop wishing. Start doing. Stop wishing. Start 
Do it. Stop wishing. Start doing. Treasure your life. Treasure your life. Treasure your life. Well done. Now I hope that you can pronounce the sh and zh sounds as perfectly as native speakers after watching this video. In the next episode, we will continue to help you out with other consonant pairs. Stay tuned for our awesome phonetic lessons. Thanks for watching Langmaster Learning System and goodbye for now.